Today we're making some homemade french fries. It's super easy to do and you get to use the kind of oil that is good for you. Olive oil. These are fairly quick to make. They take about maybe 30 minutes in the oven, 25 to 30, something like that. So it's not a lot of time and I tell you they are delicious. I'm going to be seasoning mine with just salt and garlic powder so they're garlic fries. But you can use any spices you want. Paprika is a good one, ground cumin, you know, the sky's the limit, whatever you like. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make them right after my chef joke. Did you know that the first French fries were not cooked in France? They were cooked in Greece. Now let's start off by talking about which potato to use. Which is the best one that's gonna get you the best results? There are two main ones, Russet and Yukon Gold, that I would consider using. However, I prefer the Yukon Gold because they are more tender and creamy, especially on the inside when you, you know, bite into it, you want that crispy exterior and a nice creamy, tender interior. So I've got my six Yukon Gold potatoes here and I'm just going to run them under some water in a strainer, uh, even though they're organic. And, and I always like to use organic. After the rinse, I'm going to peel my potatoes, but you could leave the skin on. As a side note, if you like to, you know, compost your food scraps, not throw them in the garbage can, I've got a little tip for you that I like to do. I picked up some of these small bin bags that are compostable from Costco, and I happen to have one of these gallon-sized water containers, and what I did was I just cut the lid off of it, and I use that. It's washable, you know, if you need to, and then I took a rubber band, a large one, and just used it to secure the plastic to the container. You will not believe how convenient this is to have right next to your cutting board. You could just throw your scraps right in there. Okay, back to our potatoes. Now, you're going to want to cut these as close to the same size as you possibly can. So after cutting them in half, you're going to want to make nice thin slices. You know, a quarter of an inch thick or so. So you want something like this. These are all pretty much the same size, or close enough. Next, we're gonna place our potatoes into a container of cold water. This will reduce the starch and help the potatoes to brown up more evenly and make them more crispy, which is what we want. Now we're gonna let these soak for a good 30 minutes. It must be time for another chef joke. All right, how did the burger propose to the fry? With an onion ring. 30 minutes are up for soaking, so get yourself a nice clean towel like I have here, or you can use paper towels. Pour your potatoes through a strainer and then give them a rinse under the water. I'm gonna let these drain as much as I can, and then I'm gonna pour them out onto that clean towel. Spread the fries out as much as you can into a single layer, and then cover them with another clean towel and try to dry them as best you can. Take your time here and spend, you know, three to five minutes drying these potatoes because that's going to have a big impact on how crispy they get. Give these a good rub down just like you would the like button if you're enjoying this video. Make sure you preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Once your fries are as dry as you can get them, place them onto a parchment paper covered baking sheet and try to keep them on, in a single layer. You want each potato touching the pan. Here's what you want your pan to look like. These are spaced out nicely. There's plenty of room between them so that they can brown up good and they won't steam. Now here comes that good olive oil. We're gonna drizzle some all over and then we're gonna rub it in. Now the best way is to get your hands in there and spread that oil around and cover all of the potatoes. They should glisten just like this. Now to season up our potatoes, you want to start with some salt. Salt is really important. Grab some and hold it really high and sprinkle it out and make sure you get a fair amount on there. All right, next up is some garlic powder. We're going to just sprinkle this over the top. I like garlic, so I'm usually always using garlic powder. Feel free to use other seasonings if you like. Use your favorites. Paprika is a good one. Uh, ground cumin, like I said earlier. And I'm going to place these in a 375 degree Fahrenheit preheated oven for 20 minutes. Here's our potatoes after 20 minutes. Now it's time to turn up the oven to 425 degrees and then we'll cook them in an additional 10 minutes. 
I rotated my pan here before turning the temperature up just because some in the back were getting more brown than those in the front. While the fries continue cooking, I'm going to talk to you about how you can serve these up. Ketchup comes to mind, but also I've got another sauce for you to try. It's my Algerian sauce. You can find the written recipe below this video in the description area. Check it out. This sauce has a little bit of heat, and I'm telling you, it is full of flavor and definitely worth making, and you can use it on sandwiches and anything else you can think of. Okay, here's our fries ready to come out of the oven, and they look incredibly good, don't they? Now you're definitely going to want to try these fries with my smash burger recipe. Check out the video here, click the link on the screen, and it'll take you right to the smash burger recipe. Did you enjoy today's video? If you did, let me know by smashing the like button and leave me a comment. I'd always love to hear from you. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.